We saw the light snow showers throughout the day, but now it is starting to come down a little heavier and accumulations are starting to occur. And we'll see that throughout the overnight around two to four inches and also still have a winter weather advisory in effect. We'll talk about that more a little bit later in the segment. 28 degrees was our high yesterday while we saw a very cold morning of eight degrees below zero. Well, I'm here to tell you that those type of temperatures are gone for the time being, at least the low temperatures. Today we saw highs that were back in the upper 30s, 38 increase in Marquette, 39 in Iron Mountain while sitting at 37 both in Manistique and in Escanaba. This is what we should typically be during this time of the year for our afternoon highs. Winds a little less breezy at 9 miles per hour in Marquette at 6 miles per hour in Iron Mountain, but just wait while the winds are beginning to turn and we'll start to see more of that northwesterly direction later on during the night. That's when they will pick up yet again and that will start to draw in the colder air from the north. So you might want to watch out for that. The weather headlines cooling off with possibly more light snow throughout the overnight and it's definitely a possibility that it will happen. It's going to be occurring and it's happening right now. Friday is going to be the cool uh, be a cooler day, but not quite frigid as highs will be back down in the upper 20s. But this weekend, we'll warm back up. We'll get back in the 30s for afternoon highs on Saturday. And then by Sunday, even getting warmer with highs back in the 40s. And that's going to be accompanied by mostly sunny conditions as high pressure will be in control. Watches and warnings. We do have that winter weather advisory in effect until 5 a.m. tonight. So you might want to wait. Make sure that if you are going to be heading out, Make sure to take it easy on the roadways because we'll be expecting those two to four inches. And when the wind starting to pick up closer to the dawn, morning, dawn, the dawn hours, you're going to have to watch out for the blowing snow. But this area of low pressure is starting to strengthen as, as it does. So it is bringing in more of the moisture from the south that will eventually push off towards the east. But we are just dealing with mostly snow earlier tonight. We did see a few areas pick up some raindrops within the snow, but right now it's going to be turning to all snow. High pressure will be in control, starting to bring in a little cooler air mass, but also starting really to pick up those winds. And as we take a look at what will be happening during the weekend, mostly clear as skies will be very, very dry, and we'll be expecting that with high pressure in control, Mostly sunny skies will rain across all of the region and we're not going to be expecting our next chance of precipitation. Maybe not until late Monday or maybe even Sunday or late Monday into Tuesday. Now let's go ahead and take a look with Futurecast, how this is all going to shape up for us. Heavy snow is making its way in through right now. Snow showers, they will fade away early during the morning tomorrow as we'll see snow out of here maybe by 9 or 10 a.m. The breezy conditions, they will start to pick up. We'll see that throughout the day tomorrow before tomorrow night. We're clearing out yet again and the breezy conditions, they will fade away and winds could even be calm by the time we make our way early into Saturday morning. Tonight, 21 degrees, snow and wind, north northwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Still seeing that northwesterly flow tomorrow at 10 to 20 miles per hour and it will be cool. But the wind that will that is what is going to make it feel even cooler. The, Temperatures, we'll see that they will start to really fall off earlier as you go into the north and west. Lawrence at 26 degrees for your high, 28 in Otanagan, 32 in Marquette, and sitting at 30 in Munising. But all of us should be in the 20s by the late afternoon as that colder air does start to make its way closer to our neck of the woods. Now, as we take a look at our day planner, highs will be in the 30s here, but that cooler air will rush in very quickly. And tomorrow night will be in the single digits and the teens. And our seven day forecast, well, Mostly sunny skies on Saturday before more 40s arrive by Sunday and we'll keep the upper 30s for Monday with our next disturbance coming in. It should be a mostly rain event on Monday before cooler air does eventually push itself in and we'll see that snow will be the main precipitation type on Tuesday with highs in the upper 20s.